Hello, everybody, coming to you from the Avian Show 2023. We are here at the Joy Dot City booth with Brazzers, and I have the amazing Chanel St. James. If you recognize her, that's because she was a Club Jenna contract star. Um, she left the industry for a little while, but she is back now. I'm back. <laughs> How, what's it like to be back? Oh, it's amazing. And wow, has the industry changed. Yes, yes, it, it really has. has changed. Maybe tell us like a little bit, like, I mean, this is only a 10 minute interview, so just a short little um, retrospective of what it was like to be a Club Jenna contract girl, maybe what things were like then, and then, you know, what it's like now. Okay. Uh, it was amazing. It went really fast. I can't wait to do a longer interview with you mm -hmm. and tell you the whole story. Yeah. Um, when I signed with her, it was just like on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> it just went. Yeah. And it went very fast. I mean, Jay was always very good at getting us set up for magazines or movies. I would be, I was in the industry, uh, I stripped for like 17 years, mm -hmm. and I remember working all night and then getting on a red eye going to Florida to do a movie, and it's just, it was so fast. It, yeah. It went really fast. You know, one day I was here, the next day I was there, so it was, it was amazing. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I got very lucky being her Club Jenna contract yeah. girl because she wasn't even looking for another contract girl. So. Yeah. But we'll get and, into that another time. Yeah, <laughs> and it, but it's interesting too because, you know, when Jenna created her own company and started signing contract girls, I feel like that was the first time that we really saw an adult star um, become a brand. That was something that wasn't really, people didn't really do. And so she was very much like a pioneer in that. And now, you know, the industry has changed so much, as you know. Yeah. And with these personal content platforms where girls are able to make money on their own and, um, you know, without having to shoot for big studios or any kind of middleman, we see a lot more of that entrepreneurial spirit where girls are like really focusing on a brand, building a brand, oh, um, you know, having all kinds of offshoots of that brand. I had Alexis Fox on earlier. She's oh, got yeah. a, a coffee brand. She's got like oh, a beer amazing. out now. Yeah, I mean, it's just like wow. amazing all of these things that you can do and the internet has really enabled that. So, um, you know, how have you found the industry in its new form now, when, now that you've come back? Um, I do have an OnlyFans. Um, actually, it's funny. Kieran Lee, a couple of years ago, was like, why, Chanel, why don't you have an OnlyFans? I said, you're right. Why don't I? Yep. So, and ever since then, we, um, I, op I got one. And it's just, it's so amazing. The platform now of, like you said, you know, girls have their own coffee brand or they have mm -hmm. a beer brand. It's just opened up such a bigger door. Yeah. It's, it's really unreal. It's fascinating to see where it's going. Yeah. And it's going so fast. Yeah. It's really enabled, you know, like I said, you know, content creators to be their own business and build their own brand. That's also so, so where I, we're so excited here, too, to be bringing the next step in that, which is the metaverse, which is, oh, of course, amazing. what we're here to promote for Joy.City, because now we've got this platform where it's so much more immersive. Fans can experience you in a whole different light. Mm -hmm. It's VR capable. It's also like, you know, regular just on your computer. Um, capable and uh, there's Very different personal. levels of monetization. You can have live events. You can create digital fashion. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, be an avatar, walk through the space, talk to your fans who are avatars. Like, it's just next level. But it's it's taking that, um, you know, interaction with fans, and it's taking that ability to brand yourself to the next level. So, you know, this is the next step in, you know, performers and creators really being their own business and it's just like it's really exciting to see yeah it's it is really exciting it is so exciting and, and being your own boss in yes. so many ways yeah it's just it's just it's just fascinating yeah i love it you know it's it's great do you find what what do you find like maybe what do you think is better with the industry now and what is there anything that's maybe a little bit more challenging um you know, OnlyFans, it can be a hard platform yeah. to run and, you know, the interacting with your fans. Mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy that. That's I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's, oh, it's just changed so much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like now it's like you really are a small business owner. You have to do a lot more yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Before you kind of had an agent, you just shot for the studios, you got your check, and like you went home, and you didn't really have to worry about promoting yourself because whatever brand you were shooting for was promoting you. Yeah. But now you have to do all of that yourself. Do you find that it's more work now? I do. 
Um, you know, it's, it's almost like every day is a content shoot. Yeah. <laughs> no. I know. Oh, wait, we're in a different hotel. Oh, no, wait. I know. Here, do this one. Okay, now another photo shoot. You know, <laughs> I, I drive some of my friends crazy. I'm like, wait, take a picture. Wait, we got to do a video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I so. know exactly what you mean. It's funny. I was talking to Cherie Deville about this, who's a dear friend of mine. And, you know, we're both workaholics. And it's like you will go on vacation and then you're in this beautiful place. And rather than, like, it's relaxing and enjoying your vacation, which is what you're supposed to be doing, right. you're like, oh, this is a great place to shoot content, you know? And it's like oh trying to... Do you find a, that work-life balance difficult for you, or are you good at, like, setting those boundaries? Um, I'm good at setting those boundaries. Mm -hmm. I, I love it, though, because... And, and it is go-go all the time, and I'm a workaholic myself. And yeah. You just want to... You don't want to miss an opportunity. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, this is a beautiful hotel. Yeah. You know, why not do this? And, and the, the part that I love the most is that we hold the content mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. When I'm 80, I'll still be this this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also be putting it out there on my OnlyFans. Yeah, absolutely. Or a different platform, like the new one. Yeah, well, actually, what's also super exciting about this is that, you know, we can do these incredible uh, digital scans of people and capture you as you are wow. now and animate that real life scan that avatar you've probably seen it like in a lot of movies how you know in Star Wars they brought Carrie Fisher back and stuff like that so um, you know you can basically immortalize yourself in the metaverse and then that you can animate it and then when you combine AI you can literally exist in the metaverse as Chanel St. James exactly like you are forever and you can continue to create new scenes digitally mm -hmm. and uh, you can just sit back and that's she amazing. lives forever. I love that. It's I love crazy, that. When I was right? with Jenna, I was I was always envious. She had a doll. I was like, oh gosh, all I want is a doll. Yeah. But now look where now we you are. can have an animated like <laughs> CGI an doll avatar. that Ooh. actually like does its own thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That will be. I'm super excited. Yeah. Yeah. Very we are. excited. We are I mean, very excited. This is definitely next level. Yes. And, and, but this is where the business is going. Yeah. It's, it's changing so much. You know. The video games, all that stuff is, um, like the gamers, you mm -hmm. know, it's all just, it's amazing. I'm, yeah. I'm super excited. And it's really cool, too, because adult has always been on the forefront of new technology, right? Like, it's always right. been the one that's pushing it ahead, you know, with, like, VHS, that, like, you know, yeah. the success of that wrote in on the back of adult. And then, you know, the internet, obviously. Um, even, like, e-commerce. I think one of the first e-commerce stores was Stockroom, which is that, like, you know, fetish kind of BDSM company. So, you know, it's no surprise that I think that the metaverse web 3.0, um, is also being championed and pushed forward in the adult industry because, um, you know, people just want, they want that porn. interaction too. They want that content yeah. and like, you know, new ways to experience it. There's such demand for it. There is, there is a huge demand. And I think in 2008, Kind of whenever I got out, and Jenna kind of got out, mm -hmm. and things just kind of went haywire for a little while. Yeah. And I think the business was trying to kind of figure out where it was going yeah. at that time. It was just so, it was kind of like just a little bit of a dip, and then now, oh, look out. It's, yeah. it's so different, and stuff like this is making it different. Yeah, because that was kind of around the time when, um, you know, there was a lot of piracy going on, right? And, like, mm -hmm. people were, like, getting their content stolen and uploaded, People weren't paying for it, yes, so yes. companies were going out of business, people were losing money, and yeah, and it was like trying to figure out how can you manage piracy online, like mm -hmm. how can you manage, you know, content, and um, you know, I feel like we've, slow progress, but we've, you know, arrived now, where, I mean, obviously piracy still exists, but not in the rampant way that it did before. Yeah. Um, which yeah. is also another great thing right. about the metaverse because it's like this is a whole new immersive space. That's a that's hard specially one to coded. Steal. You can't steal yeah. videos from this and that's put it on amazing, another site. Though. That is true. Yeah. That is true. And especially yeah. with like Web3 and blockchain, you know, and you can buy your own NFTs and, and display them in the metaverse. Like people can't steal that from you. So that's like, it's another thing that I feel like this platform is really you know, here to benefit the adult industry with. And so, yeah, they're just like, uh, it's the next big bonus. Big thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, um, uh, it's 2023. Do you have any new year's resolutions? Shoot more content. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. We're in a different room again. Okay. Yeah. More content. How yeah. much can I shoot? I, and I love that. I love, I really love giving that to the fans. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's a lot of fans that don't realize I'm back in the business. Yeah. So I'm really excited to interact with the fans and just, be able to give them 
really great content. Yeah. So that's that's the, I'm really excited for that. That's awesome. going to be really good going forward. This is going to be a big year. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. A big year. Well, Chanel, thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell everybody where they can find you online? Thank you so much for having me, of course. Um, my OnlyFans is Chanel St. James. My new Instagram is Real Chanel St. James. My Twitter is Chanel St. James and the number one. Fantastic. And of course, you guys can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Holly Randall. And most importantly, go to joy.city and sign up for our email list and be the first in the know for all of our updates. We have some incredible announcements that are coming up and you do not want to miss them. So make sure that you go to joy.city. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I will see you on the next one.